Hey everybody, this video is sponsored by DeWalt. I'm going to show you how I taper my garage doors and finish around my slab edges using only my DeWalt concrete hand tools. Check this out. Alright, so here's the edge of the door. It's got a 10 foot door. Usually, if here's his wall, let's say he's got a 2x6 wall. And the garage door is going to sit down. The track sits on the inside of the wall a little bit. So the garage door is going to sit down right about here. So we're going to taper this little piece just a little bit. And the way we do that is usually dig out just a little bit right along the form. Maybe down about a, down about a half inch all the way along the door. Cut a little taper in that. Yeah, so there's my cut down, and then I'll just scrape a little bit out this way, just to give that a little bit of an angle. Then I can smooth that out with my mag like that. That's how I taper it in front of the door. We'll clean that up as we go. But this is just to get it roughed in. You want to wait till it's too hard to do this, then you're gonna you're really gonna struggle getting it. That taper the way you want it. This is right about perfect. The concrete's still soft enough. It's about 45 minutes after the pour right now, but it's kind of chilly today. On a hotter day, I've been doing this sooner. Yeah, it is the taper. That's all I need to do just for right now. I'll let that firm up a little bit more, then I can run my edger in there.
So when I'm magging these edges at this point, I can press down. I can barely press into there with my fingers, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. So that's just about ready to power trowel. But it's still, it's still uh, soft enough on top so I can get my edges all mag. So when I'm doing that, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure down on the mag and I'm tipping it in the direction I'm going. And that's all I'm looking to do. I'm just looking to get that a little bit smoother than the bull float. And then if I got some places like this I need to fill in, I got some cream right here. I'm just magging it. I can just scrape that a little bit and that cream sticks to the bottom of the mag. Then I can push it down right in there and then go right back over it smooth it back out so that's the stage it's at right now so I'm just going around and kind of pre magging all my edges before I power trowel it getting them nice and smooth and that's the basic process to start your, start your finishing So what we like to do after we trial the door and we feel like it's firm enough is we'll give that just a little broom finish just to give it a little texture and then that's gonna that's gonna finish up the garage door other than running the edger over it. Just give it a broom finish like that. Yeah, that gives the, that finishes off the tapered part. Then I'll just run my edger over it, finish up the rounded edge. We'll do this doorway first. Just looking to round that edge off like that and leave that finished tool mark like that and that finishes off the garage door. I was like I worry about is just trialing the flat part of my edges.
right, so that's how I trial the edges. The edges are trialed, they're down pretty smooth. This has been sitting in the sun now for 10, 15 minutes. It's really pretty, it's warming up pretty good. So I think, I think I'm just gonna buzz it again real quick. And then I can shut the trial off and give it a few more minutes. All right, so that's the finished floor right there. Just gonna strip the forms. We're gonna saw cut a joint across the middle. I'll snap a chalk line for that. Just one going this way. And that's it, do it done. I'm just gonna clean up the tools. Probably, I'll probably strip the forms off and then I'm gonna get out of here for today. Luke's coming back with a saw. Luke will end up cutting the joint a little bit later today.